There are four types of bill of materials. There's production, sales, assembly, and template. In the production bill of materials, its children, the subcomponents, are turned into the finished good, the parent item, throughout the production process. The sales bill of materials also has children and the parent component. However, this item is not carried in inventory, rather it's a gift basket used in the sales process. When this item is selected in a sales order, the parent item appears at the top with the subcomponents at the bottom. The assembly bill of materials is very similar to sales, however, when it is selected in the sales order, only the parent item appears, not the subcomponents. The template bill of materials is very useful when you have an item whose subcomponents vary from time to time. In the template bill of materials, you have the option of deleting, adding, or duplicating its subcomponents in the sales order. The first step in creating a bill of materials is creating an item for the finished good. This will be represented as the parent item in the bill of materials. The next step is to create the items for the subcomponents, the children. And the final step would be to create the bill of materials. Now I will show you how to create a sales bill of materials for a basic PC set. Start off by inventory, item master data, go to add mode, type in the product number, description, Now you're going to want to uncheck purchase item and inventory item since it's only a sales kit. Set the base price at 1000. Click add. Now you'll want to come to bill of materials by production. Bill of materials. Go to add mode. Product number. first step will be to change production to sales and then we're going to want to add the subcomponents as you can see we have the option of hiding the bill of materials components in the printout but we're going to choose to not do that right now. Click Add. Now we're going to want to create a sales order. Choose a customer. Delivery date. And then input the item we just created. As you can see, the parent item pops up at the top with its subcomponents at the bottom. Now we can change the quantity, and the following items also change as well. Now we're going to go ahead and cancel out of that. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the production bill of materials. We're going to start at the bill of materials. Type in the product number, as you can see there is currently two subcomponents in the production process. The BON type is production and we also need to set up a warehouse number. Now we're going to move backward into the item master data. We're going to type in the product number. Now as you can see, unlike the sales item, we have to select purchase, sales, and inventory. However, the only mandatory category that we have to select is inventory item. Thank you for your time. I hope you felt this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at tone at pioneerb1.com or come visit us at our website at www.pioneerb1.com. Thank you.